Hey, boots. Whichever party member you didn't bring will turn out to have talked his way into the waiting room somehow. I love it. Let's save my game properly. Okay, let's crash this party. Order, order, can we please stick to the issue at hand? We must reach a decision before the missiles hit. Sitting here and squabbling about it isn't going to save us. What we require is swift, decisive action. Someone must fly into the hive and destroy the threat. I don't think rushing headlong into conflict is the best course of action for the people of Democritus, Hal. Best course of action? Would you rather sit back and die? There are 64 cascading concussion missiles headed straight for us. Unless we do something in the next two hours, this entire planet will be rubble. This is obviously my fault. I take complete responsibility for our destruction. Oh, you're all jumping to conclusions. There's no evidence. The missiles are even destructive in nature. Evidence? The Verulant Hive has been doing this for hundreds of years. Bomb planet, wait for dust to settle, then recolonize to expand hive. What exactly do you think is inside those warheads? Gift baskets? That's quite enough. No one doubts your passion for the subject, Councilman, but this is a democracy. All voices will be heard equally, and you've dominated this session long enough. Now, who will be heard next? We will. I've heard enough. Give us a fighter. We'll take out this hive while you guys bicker about it. Who are these people? Are they serious? Uh, could we talk about this for a second? You want to get off this planet or not? See? Now that's decisiveness. Get this man a fighter. That's a woman, Hal. Aren't we all forgetting something? The 228 Sparrow is a state-of-the-art asteroid fighter. It packs everything a talented pilot would need to infiltrate and destroy the hive. Except our hangar security systems are still online. There's no time for a subcommittee to approve the activation. So you'd have to fight past a division of deadly sentry rowboats just to access the ship. Sir, do I look like I care? Where are the keys? This is insanity. Why fight the Hive when we can just steal the fighter and save ourselves? No kidding. Screw the fighter. Let's grab a warship and fly home in style. No. I'm not gonna sit back and watch another planet be destroyed. Can't let you do this. Your concern is sweet, pal, and unfortunate because you're coming with us, period. The robots you're about to destroy are my brothers. I won't help you kill them, period. Did he just talk smack to me? Has he ever questioned you like that before? Pal, how are you feeling? I'm pretty pissed off, man. Congratulations, Boots. Your robots become self-aware. You're a daddy now. Pal, self-aware? Hey, where do you get off? <clears throat> Need I remind everyone of the missiles racing toward the planet? Right. Stay put. But we're having a serious powwow when I get back, mister. Ugh! Punch me! Well, we've been roped into fighting our way through a hangar full of hostile robots, aboard an experimental fighter shuttle, and face down the invaders of the Verulant Hive before their slow-paced missiles strike Democritus. Tall order. 
You can avoid nearly all the fights in the warship bay if you want, but there are some goodies you'll miss out on, obviously. Robot seems to be enjoying that heal grease. Here's the new mistech we picked up, Bane Wave. Bane is the one mistech type that doesn't leave a lingering effect. It's just straightforward damage when it hits an enemy, it's straightforward healing when it hits a friend. Wow, they have it in for Ro. Let's fix her up with a friendly dose of Bane. first glance, it seems like this heal grease is your only reward for fighting the rowboats here. But go into this dark corner where it doesn't really seem like there'd be anything and you find a Vistin Blader's Staff Head, an upgrade for Grumpus' staff weapon. This is something you're very likely to miss. The rest of this room is a dead end, so back up we go. Here's another one of those wriggly bags, but this one's in grabbing range. It's a bag of Glodens, which gives you twice the NRG a bot will give you. More rowboats guarding a heel grease. This is slightly embarrassing. Here I attempt to use Boots' Freezo Mystic, but the target buttons won't show up. I'm thinking I ran into a bug at this point. I'm noticing the fact that Boots' NRG bar is completely black. He has no energy available for using Mystic. So while I try to figure that out, let's see Rose Poisoner. Poison Mystic seems practically equal to Fire Mystic in that it causes the enemy to take a few turns of extra damage. We'll bring Grumpos into staffing range. I switch out mistech types for a sec, thinking I can maybe force out the problem that way. These guys you can just leave alone as well, but there is a small price to gain for beating them. I get tired of missing with beat weapons, so I finish things off with Staff Sweep. The great thing about finding a weapon upgrade for a character is that their battle skills immediately get a huge damage boost as well.
So I go to the party screen to see if maybe the game glitched out and Butch's shield unit has been emptied of NRG, which has happened to me in the past. And then I finally realize I gave him the old Dusali on shield cell, which lets you put all your NRG into shielding instead of reserving half of it for mistech attacks like the Colossum Shield Cells do. I just totally forgot that there are Shield Cells in the game that you can use if you just want lots of defense and don't want to bother with Mystic. You can of course put on the Dusalion Shield Cell and just put only half your energy into shielding if you want. I think that just makes it just as strong as a Colossum Shield Cell. And our prize? Another Dusalion shield cell. Ha ha. Hear that singing? This is one spot where you might have to wait a very long time for something to happen. Again I start thinking there's something wrong with the game. Maybe the window's texture is accidentally opaque? In defense of my paranoia, this game can have some weird glitches, and it actually takes at least half a minute for the red bipedry to show up. Finally, a little red fella floats past for me to snap. One more rowboat fight, and this time Boots comes prepared. Freezing Mystic has the effect of, predictably, freezing an opponent for a number of turns. This being just about the weakest freezing attack, I think it just freezes him for one turn. I normally try to use Glodens and Heal Greases outside of battle, so I don't have to waste a turn on them, but they do have some nice light shows. And that clears up the last obstruction. Let's save like a good boy and grab that fighter. Mind if I spread my pilot wings? Be my guest. 